Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Craig Andrus. Transparency or going too far? A bill up for debate in Topeka right now would require teachers to post all their lesson plans and activities online so parents can get a look at them. This is just one of many bills some say would increase parent participation in their child's education. But as Zach Martin reports now, not everyone is convinced it's the right move. Zach. Craig, Republican state senator and the chairman of the Education Committee, Molly Bumgardner, says she's not sure if many of these transparency bills will be passed by the committee, at least not without being amended. They're bills that are designed so that parents and community members have a sense of what are the materials that are being used and taught in our schools. United Teachers of Wichita President Brent Lewis says these bills are not needed. Really, it just seems to encourage one-size-fits-all education for uh, students who have a, a, a great variety of individual needs. Or wanted by some teachers. Uh, I think we're highly transparent and always willing to engage with, with our families. Robert Castleberry is a fifth grade teacher at Enterprise Elementary. He spent his Friday making t-shirts for second grade students. I want to be sure that I am in second grade on a Tuesday, 2-22-22. Castleberry says he's against all of the transparency bills. It seems like there's a lot of people who are willing to tell us what to do without asking us how we're doing. When we're the ones in the trenches, we're the ones that work with these kids. For Senator Baumgartner, she knows this will be a long process. It's going to take time and communication and, and what I refer to as working the bill um, to make it so that voices have been heard and appropriate amendments have been made. Senator Bumgarner says it could be weeks before the Education Committee has a chance to even discuss these transparency bills because of what has been and will be a busy legislative session. Here for you, Zach Martin, KSN News 3.